Hey, what's going on, Doc and Fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showcasing the potential of 100% Rainbow Candy Vegito. And as you guys know, with my, my showcases, I like to do a nuke test, then also take them out in a team that I would actually use, and we'll go over that when we get to it. But first things first, special thanks to Emmanuel on Twitter for responding to my plea to have another Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Nuke lead so I could do this video and get the maximum potential possible when doing the nuke test. And really, really quick guys, a little bit of tough love, okay? Just a little bit of tough love, that's, that's just, that's how we learn, okay, as human beings. I did a post <laughs> on the community tab on YouTube and I said, if you have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, post your friend code below so that I can obviously send you a friend request because I need that lead for this video. Like two or three comments were, hey, I have him, do you want my friend code? And I'm just like, <laughs> like you could have just, you could have just left, you could have read the whole comment and just left your friend code versus asking me if if I want you to leave yours when that's what I was asking to begin with just like it was just it was just really funny to me so in the in the future guys as I make these showcase videos um, if I ever find myself in a bind and I say hey post your code below if you have this unit I really mean it so like don't ask me like to double check if it's okay like just post your friend code below I will add you as a friend on Dokken and then I will shout you out just like my boy Emmanuel. Uh, so Emmanuel, thank you so much for doing this for me. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into this nuke test. Uh, we're doing a uh, special event Boss Rush 3. As you can see, I have my Candy Vegito right here. Uh, real quick guys, if you don't have a lot of free to play units and you are free to play, this is a really good unit for you to pick up for a couple different reasons. Number one, uh, his Lita skill, attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. So it's not tech key sphere, it's any key sphere. So if you need to boost your attack and defense of your units, this is the man to do it as a Lita. Um, and then for his super attack, he causes supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, which is still pretty good. Uh, and then his passive skill, High chance to evade enemy's attack, including super attack, and this man does evade quite a bit on his own. Uh, and as you can see, my evade is zero, and he still evades quite a bit. And then he has disables enemy's god, which is always good, and then recovers HP with candy. So if you're doing any Majin Buu type events where there's candy, you can recover HP. Um, and usually I max out my crit on units like this, but I actually rainbowed this unit probably like five or six months ago when the event was here before and so I didn't max up the crit because at that point in time I was still learning okay I was still kind of a noob back then uh, and then uh, obviously for teams you get categories Majin Buu Saga and Patora and so after we do this nuke test I'm gonna actually run him on my Patora team for an actual you know test of how we would use the unit so without any further ado let's go nuke some Bosch Rush and obviously, guys, I have the orb changers. I got three pores and an oolong, so I can try to make the entire board tech for the nuke. Uh, and also, this Bardock changes um, key strength key spheres to tech key spheres. Uh, and this Android 18 uh, changes fizz key spheres to tech key spheres. So we do have some orb changes in here, just to kind of speed up the process as well. So let's see what we can do. So, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Emmanuel, you are awesome, thank you. So, I chose Boss Rush 3 because the first guy we're gonna attack is Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, and he's AGL, and we're obviously tech, so we have type advantage, and I wanted to make sure that we didn't die. So our, our health is only uh, 71,000. So, kind of terrible, um, but that's okay. I'd rather have Super Saiyan 3 Goku take the hits. But you know what, I'm gonna do like this. I, I have a sneaky suspicion that he might super attack me on the second turn, and at least Super Saiyan 3 Goku can take a hit. So we'll just max him out real quick. Please don't super attack, please don't super attack, please don't super attack. Oh, he's gonna super attack! Please survive, please survive! 
survive! Please survive! Yes! Oh, I would have been so angry if he killed me after going through all of that just to find a freaking lead. <laughs> Nukes are hard to do, guys, for that very reason. Okay, all right, Candy Vegito's on the board. <laughs> Thank freaking God. All right, let's see how this boy can nuke. So we already have quite a bit changed. So now all we have to do is... Change purples, yeah, change purples, sweet. Change all orange key spheres to purple. No, we don't wanna do that. We wanna change all purple key spheres to green. She, I still have to start from the beginning. Didn't even matter. But the orb changes would have came in handy. Um, the reason why you still wanna have the orb changer units on the board is so that, you know, if, if, if the unit you're trying to nuke doesn't come out, you can still change the board as much as possible to try to survive, is basically what it comes down to. So you can actually launch some attacks. Alright, so we gotta try to get as many of these rainbows as possible. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to get the top four, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Okay, Candy Vegito, let's see what you can do. And if we survive, I guess we can always try again, right? All right, these guys don't matter. I mean, Candy Vegito better friggin' wipe out AGL Goku right here. <laughs> okay, so it was not a crit, but we still hit for 1.2 million, so not too bad. 1.2 mil on boss rush so is not too bad at all. All right, now hopefully we won't get absolutely wrecked right here. And maybe we can continue and try to go for another nuke. If not, 1.2 million on Candy Vegito. Damn, dead on one hit. So 1.2 million uh, with a Candy Vegito nuke, not too bad. So now what we're going to do is the same boss rush event, but we're gonna put Candy Vegito on a Patora team, and I'm gonna use my boy Honor's rainbowed L.I. Vegito. Then I'm gonna go to my L.I. Vegito team, and I'm gonna swap out uh, this unit right here, this tech, this tech Vegito for Candy Vegito. So there he is, I'm gonna swap him out, put Candy Vegito in, uh, and we are good to go. And guys, obviously, the Patora, okay? The Patora has Patora category key plus three, HP and attack plus 170%, uh, and defense plus 130%. So if you're running a Patora team, this is the obvious leader you wanna have to get the best results. So let's see how far we can go uh, with this team right here. And it, Damn, the only unit I don't have rainbowed right now is my LR Black. I only have one dupe on him. And in between all of this, I actually got another friend request for another Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So if they respond in time, we'll try to do one more nuke real quick. So I want to see him like do a crit nuke, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Candy Vegito on the board. So let's uh, let's definitely let's put him last, just for just for why not? And we can still get all his key filled up. Okay, good. Let's see if we can take out Goku in one shot. So I mean, I guess you can kind of count this as a. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do a separate video because I want to nuke as well, but my LA Vegito is, is is rainbowed. So you're gonna see either my LA Vegito or my friend's LA Vegito, you know, pretty much breeze through this event. Doesn't even really matter at this point what I click on. I would like to see Candy Vegito hit this AGL Goku. Well, I guess he's not gonna have a chance. Okay, go to the next one. <laughs> Man, this Bator team is insane, guys. Jesus, it, now it's not even gonna give me Candy Vegito. <laughs> That's okay. 
We'll get there. Eventually, you'll see Candy Vegito do some work. There he is! There he is! Okay, this is actually good. So, we got Candy Vegito on the board, um, and we're gonna be able to see if he'll dodge, and then we'll see what he does for an actual counter attack as well. Damn, he does not, he doesn't even link with LR Vegito or, or either LR Vegitos. That's okay, we can still boost his SA. One, two, three, four, okay. Get his super attack off. I mean, he's still benefiting from the Pator lead, but he's not connecting well on this team. Nice! I already got a dodge. Dodge the super attack! That was not see? And he has he has zero evade, guys. Zero evade. That wasn't too Oh and he, has, he evaded again! So that's Candy Vegito with zero with zero hidden potential evades, guys. And he just evaded three times in a row. He evaded two super attacks, and he, ev I mean, he evaded two regular attacks and one super attack. That's pretty friggin' awesome. All right, so let's exit out of here really quick. All right, so it looks like we're actually gonna be able to do one more nuke test, thanks to Geo Morales for sending me a friend request with his nuke lead as well. So let's just jump right into it, guys. I would really like to see this Candy Vegito do um, not only not only a nuke, but a critical, a critical nuke. Here we go. Please come out first. Yes! Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put him first. So he's gonna, we're gonna see if he'll dodge. So let's just go, we'll just wipe the whole board real quick. I would like to see him dodge, and then if we can get a critical nuke, that would be so friggin' awesome. Oh, there we go! This is much better. So we got the entire board that time. And then I guess it doesn't really matter after this, so. All I wanna see is that nuke. No dodge, no dodge. That's okay. Please crit, come on, yeah! Now that is what I'm talking about. So you saw the first attack was about, what was it, like 1.3 million, and then now we just did it again, and we doubled, we doubled on the critical. So that's 2.2 million with a critical attack. And like I said, mine's at level 14, not even at level 15. So that's quite impressive for a free-to-play unit on a nuke. And then obviously we saw him do really well on the Patora team. I mean, granted he didn't link, but he still dodged a lot, which can be crucial. And if you don't have a lot of Patora units, you can definitely throw him on your Patora, Patora, uh, Patora team to help out. So there you guys have it. That is the nuke test for Candy Vegito. Overall, what do I think of this as a unit? Uh, well, overall, obviously, he's not gonna do the most damage. He is a free-to-play unit, but at, for a free-to-play unit, to be able to crit as high as two mil on a nuke is, is pretty good, um, but his best features, aside from dealing damage, his best features are his leader skill, so if you don't have a lot of really good leads, you know, he can boost any team. Attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. So no matter what team you put him on, he's gonna help with attack and defense. Um, he can stun the enemy, which I think he did stun on one of the attacks that we did. Uh, but overall, he will evade attack. So if you're having a really hard time on some events where you're getting attacked a lot, having him on your team just to try to evade some attacks could be really helpful to help you guys clear events. And as always, if any of you need help building teams, come to my docking forums. You can post screenshots of the units you're trying to make a team out of, and we can help you there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks again to my two friends who put their Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Nuke leads up for me. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.